Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today I wanted to make a quick video to show you how it's possible to create a DVR for your FPV footage uh, out of some equipment that you may already have or can be obtained really cheaply. So the first thing you need is an Android phone. Uh, Android phone needs to probably be a more recent model because your phone needs to support a feature called USB OTG or uh, USB on the go. Basically that means if you're able to um, plug USB accessories into your USB port on the phone and the phone is able to operate those accessories like a thumb drive or even a mouse or a game controller uh, most of the newer Android phones can do that. I am not sure which revision of Android you need to be on to uh, get that so you might have to go look that up. Um, so first step would be if you have an Android phone make sure it supports USB on the go OTG. Second thing is you'll need a USB OTG cable. Um, I'm not sure what exactly makes these so special or if you could just use a little USB uh, accessory cable off your phone but um, these are re really cheap to get. I, I actually got three of these I believe for $1.99 on eBay. Uh, that, that's three for a dollar ninety nine, so two bucks for all three shipped. So um, they're really inexpensive. So uh, USB OTG cable, okay. And the third thing you're going to need is a device called an Easy Cap. Uh, this one's called Easier Cap. Uh, again, these are really inexpensive. You can get them on eBay or Banggood or uh, probably even Hobby King sells one. Um, eBay, I believe, is where I got this one, but they're, they're listing anywhere from like $4.99 up to $12. Um, so just pick the seller you like with the fastest shipping or closest to you, whatever, uh, and get one of these. All right. Uh, I'm assuming you already have the you know video transmitter on your quad or uh, hexcopter or whatever, your air, uh, airplane, and a video receiver. In, in my case, I have a video receiver on my Quantum V2 goggles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the feed uh, from the receiver that normally goes to the little monitor inside the goggles and I'm going to plug it into the easy cap. Okay. And so that's step one of the connections here. Uh, a couple things I forgot. So let's go back to the phone. So what you're going to need then is a couple apps. First of all, you need an app to record your screen. Uh, I went in the, into the uh, Play Store and I picked an app called AZ Screen Recorder. I picked AZ Screen Recorder because it had the most um, downloads and reviews and had the highest rating. Uh, and it's also free. Okay, so that's going to start uh, recording your screen. Whatever you're doing on your screen, uh, whether it was video or playing a game or thumbing through the uh, app drawer, whatever, that's going to get recorded. The other thing you need, and this one does cost, is this app called EasyCap Viewer. Uh, EasyCap Viewer, I believe it cost me $4.43. Uh, as far as I know, it's the only app in the App Store that's going to, or Google Play Store, I should say, sorry, that's going to um, take the input from this EasyCap. Okay, so it's kind of a necessary expenditure, but really, with the EasyCap, the OTG cable, and buying that one app, you're probably at less than $15. Okay, so here's how it goes. First, you got to start. Uh, you launch the screen recorder, and just in case, I'm going to always be doing this horizontally, or you know, in landscape mode, just so that the video should come out in landscape mode, just to be sure. Okay, so I start recording. Start now. Okay, so this is recording. Everything on my screen is being recorded, uh, even the audio right now. So that's a that's a bonus, I guess. It's not going to pick up audio from your quad, but it's going to pick up your surrounding audio if you want it to. Okay, so uh, we already connected the easy cap to the video output of my uh, video receiver here. So let's connect these up together. OTG cable. And before I plug this into the phone, let me just power up my quad off camera. Okay, so it's powered up my uh, FPV. FPV camera should be running. So I'm going to plug this guy in right here. <laughs> there we go. And there it is. So as you can see, my quad back here behind the camera sending 
its signal as it would normally to the receiver which then goes on to the screen in my quantums um, but now it's going to the easy cap okay just video feed out sorry uh, video feed out of the video receiver to the easy cap OTG cable to my phone and because I have a screen recorder running everything's getting recorded the the easy uh, easy cap viewer app does not record in and of itself you have to get a screen re screen recorder okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here back again to exit and with that recorder app you swipe down from the top stop okay all right so that app is done I'm gonna go ahead and hit play So you can hear I got audio a little bit. So that's a that's a bonus, I guess. It's not going to pick up audio from your quad, but it's going to pick up your surrounding audio if you wanted to. Let me just power up my quad off camera. Okay, so it's powered up. My uh, FPV FPV camera should be running. So I'll plug this guy in right here. All right, so as you see, that's an easy way to uh, kind of make your own DVR out of a cell phone. You, everybody pretty much has a cell phone, smartphone these days. Uh, has to be Android, has to support USB OTG. You have to get an OTG cable and you have to get an easy cap. Total expenditure for all of that stuff for me, in my case, was $13. So go ahead and give it a try. And, uh, you know, you might be able to have some FPV footage in addition to if you're flying around with a GoPro or SJ Cam or whatever on top of your, uh, your quad. Cool. Hope that works for you. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe, please. Thanks.